It's a new dawn, come, let's work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us take it, come, let's take it further. Today we'll be talking to one of the dispatch riders of Jantugidi, one of the beneficiaries of LSCTF. And we'll be asking them how they go about their daily routines and how they deliver their goods and services. We'll be following them around actually. Join me. Good afternoon, bro. Good afternoon. Uh, may I know your name? Yeah, it's possible. My name is Moses Obenda, but friends and family call me Fresh Money. Okay, bros, tell us about yourself and how you started working for Jan Tugidi. I came to Lagos not, in fact, not uh, quite long. But I can say that this Jan Tugidi, the one that, that invited me, I mean, they're the one that called me to come to Lagos. How? Yeah. It's because my friends in Jan Tugidi know that I'm good in bike. So this friend of mine decided to call me to come and start working with Jan Tugidi. Mm -hmm. So and I thank God today, Jan Tugidi, they are even happy. I mean, I am happy to work with them and them also. They are happy working with you. To work with me also. Yeah. Okay, so before Jan Tugidi, what were you doing? Before Jan Tugidi, I used to do Okada work. So from there, Jan Tugidi now called me to come and join them. So how has working for Jan Tugidi helped you compared to what you were doing before? Ah, uh, brother, mm. I don't go feel life for you. No lie, no lie. This is where you talk so eh, mm. I happy. You know why? Mm. Jan Tugidi, they give me joy too much. Mm. In fact, before I go even wake up for money, say, uh, before I go even do anything, if I don't pray to God, the next thing will go come my mind, eh? At the cocktail, we did for Jan to give the office. We be say, <laughs> at the take. This one don't be lie. We must take. They must give us this. They always give us. I mean, they entertain us. I mean, they give us something to take before we go out for delivering. And that is why you see, we Jan to give you, we are number one. Mm -hmm. We know they carry last. You know they, because of the cocktail. Number one, that would be we know they carry last <laughs> yeah. because of the cocktail. So whenever we think of all these things, I mean, we'll be happy to come to work. To work. Uh, yes, Jan mm. Tugidi, they are good. Wow. Because these people, uh, they give us what someone else cannot give us, mm. apart from God. Mm. So we are, we are happy to work with them. They are good. Can you tell us about your daily delivery routine? When it comes to delivering work, eh? I go to Aja, uh, somewhere Banana Island, I go to Ikoi, all this um, VI, Leki, Apapa, Ikeja, Ojodubega, huh? Omolefe, so one and two, all this area. These are my area, and I love to go to those places. Why? Why do you love those areas? It's because this place, because there are some places you go, I mean, you go to that place, and they will not even, they will not grant you the access to deliver what you want to deliver quick. I mean, due to security protocol. Well, you know the in and out. So they will delay you. Place. But this place I mentioned to you, mm. once you come there, you have drop, then you go. And that is to tell you that if my boss gave me work to these places, I wouldn't, I, I don't mind, even if he like, make it be 50, 100, as far as in a way I know, and they himself know me, I don't go mind. Okay, how many years have you been working with Jan Tugidi? Um, I say it's three years now. Where do you see yourself <coughs> in like four, five years? I'm praying to God every day so that God will give me, if God wants to make me to blow, it will, it will make me to blow in a very Boom. big mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And that is to tell you, say, the company where I won't get it, na oil and gas company. Oh, wow. I want to call ya. Because you see this oil and gas, eh? Or more, they the person. You know, say, they know the third person saying I'm flying and I ain't getting no no. Mm. So when you say flying with your cow, you go, you go say, say, say I didn't get no get no. Thank you so much. Thank God. All right, thank, thank you. you, so you much. Eh? Hi, what's your name? My name is Ama Apata. What do you do for Jantikiri? I'm the co-founder of Jantikiri. All right, what's your name, ma'am? Hello, I'm Kike Lomofola Ogunia and I'm also the co-founder of Jantikiri Worldwide. That's great. So two of you are the co-founders of Jantikiri. And I can see that your staff are like so eager and excited to work for you. Why do you think that's the case? 
We make the work environment a fun place to be. You know, we do logistics and delivering with a smile is really important. So if the staff aren't happy, there's no way they would deliver, you know, the service with a smile. So it's, uh, it's really about our personalities. We're upbeat, we're young, we're fun, we keep it fresh. And that's how, I guess, you know, we're real with our staff and that's why we have that vibe at the office. So what do you deliver? For where, where does it range from? Would anything or do you have certain products that you look to deliver? Almost anything from groceries. For people that love their groceries in the UK, we deliver groceries. We deliver in Lagos. You've forgotten your keys at home. We pick up your keys, deliver it to wherever you are. Um, perfumes, everything really. I, I don't think there's a restriction on stuff that we deliver. Talking about you know delivering a whole wide range of products, you would need a lot of um, investment, a lot of financial um, assistance for that. Mm -hmm. So can you guys tell us um, the financial process behind um, you know Janty Kitty? We funded it. It was money that we had and money that our spouses also put into the business. And over time, we were able to apply to LSETF, mm -hmm. and we were able to get a loan of five million naira from LSETF, which has boosted our um, it's boosted our, um, our cash flow as well. So we've been able to expand the business, get more bikes, um, automate our services, and lots of other things. All right, so can you tell us more about you know, um, the process behind getting the loan? Okay, um, a friend of ours, or a friend of Amaz actually told us about the LSCTF. So we thought, okay, we just, you know when you hear Lagos State or something relating to the government, you're a bit skeptical, but we thought there was no harm in applying. So we actually dropped our application on the last day of the pilot scheme and it was quite seamless well after dropping off the application we you know left it there for what about it got a call a few weeks later and said that we should come in for an interview so of course we're excited took everything they asked us to bring us our, our bank statements and ourselves really so we showed up for the interview and we had a, a member of staff from LSTF and somebody else from PWC. They asked us questions about our bank statements, asked about our current operations. They also asked about how we'll be applying the loan in our business, just to ensure that the business is capable of paying back the five million naira that we had applied for. So a um, few months after the interview, of course, we were told that we we're successful and we we're so pleased. Went for the check presentation um, ceremony, got the check, and here we are today. Do you want to give us a little more details of how that helped you to expand further? Okay, and um, one of the key things that we did with the money was expand our fleet. Mm -hmm. We had, you know, in the past, people would call us for deliveries and we'd say we're fully booked because we only had, what, four bikes? We had four bikes, so we would say we're fully booked because, you know, the capacity, we couldn't take, take on more than we could actually chew. So um, customers started getting upset. We would say, oh, we can no longer do same day delivery. So you call today for a delivery the next day. You know, it hampers, um, especially for SMEs. If you told your clients you're going to deliver the next day, you know, it, it, it just made everything so inconvenient. So the first thing we did was Ama and I went to the market and bought additional bikes. Um, and that has seriously changed our business. Now we can take on deliveries at 2 o'clock for the same day delivery. We can take on deliveries at 3 o'clock, depending on the schedule for the day. We've been able to get more, more hands and, of course, employ more people, which is you know, primarily the aim of the LSETF to ensure that and, you know, employment is on the increase. So it's been a privilege, honestly, to be part of you know, putting food on more, ma on more tables. And we would like to thank the LSCTF for that opportunity. Do you think that you'd advise anyone to have a look at the LSCTF and um, consider applying for the loans? What would you say about that? We've kind of told all our friends, we've told all our Instagram followers, everybody knows that we got the LSCTF loan. And so far, a lot of, we've had a lot of inquiries about the process because, of course, people don't trust the process, but we've told a lot of people about it. So, to answer your question, yes, I'll tell every single entrepreneur who has a an existing business or an, a, a viable business idea in the pipeline to definitely look, uh, consider applying um, for the LSTF loan. What would you say? Same thing, same thing. It's a very transparent process. There are no, you don't have to know anybody. Trust us, we know nobody in Lagos, so you don't have to know anybody to get the LSTF loan to apply today. All right, great stuff. I can categorically tell you people that after I leave here, I'm going back to my cyber cafe <laughs> to continue my application for the LSCTF. And by God's grace, I'm all that you will give me this morning. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. All right, have a nice day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Okay.